the beginning of the end, possibly. Who knows? I think Max remembers this specific moment because of the fact that that was one of the few occasions she actually felt happy. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Another happy yes, moment. Of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Bendito. All now of that her. Get that mushy shit out of the way. I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Hmm. Yep. All yep, of I'm her happy insane moments. Insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie. Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Three little moments. Three little moments brought you to you by you Chloe me. and Max. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. I know you do, honey. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Start from the beginning, which I'm actually doing right now, really reliving some of these moments. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You know what this reminds me of in Fallout 4 when I had to go through Kellogg's memories. But the only difference between that and going through Max's memories is well Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? With Kellogg, we relived some of his memories to understand how he became the way he is. With Max, we're reliving some of her memories because we are being shown how much she cares and loves Chloe. Obviously, since the past few memories have been centered around Chloe and her. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Mm. Forever. Mm. It's like we got back together as friends, and at this I'm point, so I know. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Oh, so I might so get cute. on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max. You better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. You guys have such good chemistry together. I really doubt it's only just a friendship. Cowabunga! But... 
Why, look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Oh my god. I can't sense the love between them. It's like they grew together again. I mean, come on. You really gonna tell me they don't have good chemistry together? Girl. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Hmm. <laughs> that is so Photo funny. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Max would be one. Would be the one to have this as a core memory. Come on, man. This whole memory thing details on how close they've gotten and how important Chloe has become in Max's life. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Poor Corey. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. Oh my god, this took me out. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Question is, will I end up going into my golden hour at the end of these memories? Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Why this specific memory, Max? Do you feel like there's a possibility you would need to make a ultimatum between fixing everything and letting Chloe go? Because the thing is, Chloe died. Chloe, in a... you're back. Well, she didn't die, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. I refused to kill Chloe, you so I didn't. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together.
Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. That was a very tough moment Rachel. to see Chloe in. No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. This was sick. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> Come on, Max. We're Come on, almost Max. there. Almost there. Is that the Wait, present? That's me. Max, Max, come on now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be okay. So I blacked out, went through Max, a whole bunch of memories. Max, can you hear me? And now I'm here. Please say something, Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. That fat ass tornado. Holy cow. Heading straight to Arcadia Bay. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Thanks, Chloe. Tell her. Remind her. Max. This is the only way. What? What are you talking about? I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... Well, what? To... Fuck that. No, no way. You are my number one priority. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. 
wherever I end up after this. In whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. First of all, <laughs> you already know what I'm about to do. Max, it's time. And guess what? I'm not, I'm not leaving not. you. There you go, Max. Tell her. I saved you so many times because I'm in love with you. That's it. I'm in your life for a reason. You're in my life for a reason. We were meant to help each other, heal each other. Max. I'm not going to lose you. I'll always be with you. Forever. Damn. Damn. That is fucked up, but I'm not gonna lose Chloe, I'm sorry. I'd rather sacrifice the world for my loved one. Dead ass. I'm that type. Damn. I mean, the thing is, there has to be some survivors. And I know throughout the last couple episodes, me and my inner self were debating, were determining if I'm actually a good person or a bad person. But in all reality, it's like having a power like that. Yeah, it's responsibilities and you need to choose wisely. But Max did the best she could. And that's all that matters. And like I said, I'm not going to, I know it's wrong for me to choose Chloe over the town, but fuck it. I would rather sacrifice the world as long as I know my lover is safe at my side. So, sorry, I know. Don't rely on me. I'm truly not the hero, but fuck it. I really don't care. I mean... Yeah, Chloe died a couple of times, but if I wasn't there to save her, what would be the alternative? Oh, we got one dead body on the floor. Come on, Max. Chloe, let's just go. Run away. Drive far away from this town. Create a new life. Some sacrifices need to be made. Sure. Hopefully not to this extreme, but nonetheless, sacrifices need to be made, so. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.